the battlefront brought before your eyes. Thrills experienced by our fighting men in the air, on land, and on the sea. Thrills that bring grim warfare close to home. The camera records a smashing defeat of the Mikado's air power in the South Pacific. the greatest camera thrill of the entire action, the complete scene of a Zero's flaming end. Paratroopers make news and camera thrills on every mission. Glider troops, too, are the thrill makers of modern war, riding the big kites that are towed to their targets. Some sky soldiers get downstairs in a hurry. The glider forces coming in for a landing are always likely to make anybody's heart skip a beat, especially when the big kites hit dangerous ground. Some of them have easy landings, but others need plenty of luck. The real thrill is provided by the spectacular and daring paratroopers. Volunteers, every one of them, they like action and thrills, as the camera plainly reveals when a whole regiment takes to the silk in a mass invasion from the skies. paratrooper calls this a perfect landing. The motion picture camera has never been closer to the deadly fire of enemy guns than in this thrillingly real episode of savage warfare in a South Pacific jungle. The Jap forces are entrenched in strong dugouts and pillboxes only a few yards away. Here come stretcher bearers with a casualty. The battle increases in fury. Through jungle and almost impassable terrain, our ground forces advance, never knowing when a hidden Jap sniper will fire. Our men meet the test of courage and fortitude in some of the most thrilling land action ever recorded. There's a major general in the front lines. He orders a tank to move up and lead in advance. Now flamethrowers go into action to burn the Japs out of a strong position. And there's no more dangerous job than to stand up under fire so close to the enemy. Within the next few seconds, a Jap hand grenade will burst on the ground directly in front of the soldier with the flamethrower. The battle's aftermath, covering the ground like autumn leaves in a forest swept by the storm. A German camera aboard a U-boat records an attack. The Nazi crew is tense as they come to the surface for another shot. Straight to the target. An American destroyer speeds in to attack. The enemy hears and rigs for diving. 
down into the depths to try to escape the oncoming fighting ship. Depth charges are dropped in a deadly pattern. Nazi is forced to the surface. Immediately, a torrent of gunfire is turned on the crippled sub. It is doomed. The destroyer sends a rescue boat for survivors. And so ends a camera thrill and its aftermath in mid-ocean. Flying further from British bases than the world believed possible, small American fighting planes smashed the Nazi Luftwaffe, their flying fields and ground communications. Railroads throughout Western Europe are paralyzed. A train can't have a box hole. The bombers, too, have furnished camera thrills with some of their spectacular missions deep into Germany to smash into ruins the factories producing enemy aircraft. Striking suddenly at remote flying fields, marauding fighters swoop down upon mock Nazi planes. Gun cameras capture thrills on film as other planes are torn into flaming wreckage in air battles over the right. Machine gunners on big bombers boost the score, but the fighter planes rule the air and leave destruction on the ground. over France are direct targets for our gunners. New weapons of war add to the increasing thrills recorded by intrepid cameramen. Now the camera catches a disabled American bomber in a breathtaking dangerous ground loop. Another accident, this one a tragedy as two dive bombers collide. Watch it again, they hit, there goes a wing. Flaming destruction. But these things are part of the price that is paid for the skill and perfection which has enabled American heroes of the sky to meet the enemy eye to eye, to outwit and outfight him, and to return victoriously from combat with some of the greatest camera thrills of the war.